Hi, welcome to a short video on the practical usage of Microsoft Power Query. In this video, I'd like to show you how to unpivot a data set. For other Microsoft Excel solutions, you may visit my website ashishmathur.com. Okay, so here goes the data set. On the source data sheet, I have a fairly uh, lengthy database in terms of columns that the database occupies. It's all the way from column A here to column D, E over here. Now, if you look at the first six columns here, they're fairly straightforward. Main zone, sub zone, state, sub sub zone, CFA code, and CFA name. And the other columns right from column G to column D, E essentially are column headings for quantities that appear under them. Now, all these columns from G to D, E further have two rows in, in, in each column as headings. So if you look at the fourth row, that represents the IB code and the row and the heading in the fifth row represents the SKU number. So IB code is in row four and the SKU is in row five over here. And there are some random numbers for um, each column mentioned. There are a few blank cells there as well. Now the task over here is something which I can best explain to you by showing you what my desired data set should actually look like. So this is my source data. If I go on to the next worksheet, there's my desired data worksheet over there, wherein there's a main zone, sub zone, state, sub sub zone, and a CFA code, CFA name. These six columns are exactly the six columns that you saw over here. So no problem so far. Now, if you see the other two columns over there, there's something called IB underscore code, and there's SKU number. So the IB underscore code is a row that has to be picked up from, is a column that has to be picked up from row number four here. And the SKU uh, column over here has to be picked up from row five over here. Also, please observe that in the, in the desired data set, there should be no blanks appearing in any column. Whereas in my source data set over here, central appears only in one cell over there. All these cells thereafter are blank. Then there's east, all these are blank, north, so on and so forth. So before we actually see how to unpivot this data, we'll have to first prep the data a bit. So in order to do so, I'll just create a copy of this worksheet and let's see how I can fill up the blank cells with relative ease. So the way to do that would be, I simply select A6 all the way down to F234. I press a control G there. I go to special, click on blanks. This highlights all my blank cells. I just press equal to, press the up arrow key once on my keyboard, press the control enter and in a single shot, you'll notice all the blank cells essentially equate to the value of the non-blank cells just above it. So if I were to click on any one cell over there, you'll see it carries a formula which says equal to the cell above. Now, having done this, I'll simply copy the six columns over here, paste special values so that there is no linkage with the previous cell. And now let's see what we can actually do. So essentially, we're going to unpivot this data using something called Microsoft Power Query. Before going there, just one last step that we have to perform here is we'll actually have to insert a row over here and I'll concatenate the headings that appear for every column into one single cell. So I'm gonna concatenate this, let's say with a colon delimiter there, with the row below there, copy this all the way to the right, which is still column D, E, right? Likewise, I'll copy these headings as well, paste them down below here, and I'll just take this entire row and bold to just be clear that these are my heading rows now. Okay, now that we've done this, all we need to do is select the data set right from A6 till DE235. I now go on to Microsoft Power Query, Excel data from table. I just ensure that this range over here is correct, so I change it to A6 to DE. 235, my table has headers, click on OK there. And the power query window opens up. Now what I need to simply do is select this, scroll all the way to the right, press and hold the shift key, select the last column there, all those columns get selected. I right click, there's an option there which says unpivot. Click on that and I get what I want. One last step that needs to be performed over here is to break up the attribute column based on the colon delimiter. So I right click, say split column by delimiter. 
I choose my custom delimiter here as colon click on OK it's done let's give it a meaningful name so I'm going to rename this to IB underscore code here I'm going to rename this to SKU number here I'll give the table a better name as well so let's just say unpivot data I want to load this to worksheet so I have that box checked click on apply and close another worksheet opens up there and it shows me as you can see on the right hand side there are 6167 rows loaded now just to quickly cross check this with my desired data set over there so if I go back to the desired result sheet and select this entire data set apply a filter here on all the non-blank cells if I were to count the number of rows you'll see in my taskbar down below at the right hand side there's 6167 okay another check we could do is if I were to simply highlight the count column there I get a total of 237,391 if I do the very same for the value column over here as well I get 237,391 so that's the way to unpivot uh, a column expanding database into fewer columns uh, thanks again for watching this video